to enhance our understanding on the adiabatic and isothermal flows with frictions, let's do some practice. But if, before we do uh, some practice, uh, uh, let me uh, summarize again what we have learned. Uh, we know that in the uh, high velocity gas flow, we assume the ideal gas behavior. Uh, then we ha we can then apply some of the uh, equation of state and 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 the heat capacity relationship. Also, we assume the heat capacity that is constant. Uh, Okay, now we have derived the speed of sound uh, and then uh, we also derived the isentropic change of ideal gas equation. Uh, then for the isentropic flow, we have four relationships. We have a velocity to temperature relationship. We have the temperature, uh, pressure and density relationship. And then uh, to calculate the uh, flow through a conduit, uh, we uh, develop equation that involve uh, a point we call as a critical point. So that point has a few conditions. So at the critical point, match number equal to one, uh, which also means that the velocity at the critical equal to, to the sonic velocity. Um, from the uh, some of the uh, uh, continuity and mass balance equation, we can. Uh, Okay, another condition of this uh, critical one is it has an exactly the same mass flux as uh, the one in the uh, the one in the point of interest, point one here. So we develop the mass flux relationship. Uh, we also discuss the uh, adiabatic flow with friction to find out the correlation between uh, velocity at two point. Okay. Uh, uh, given the uh, F, uh, the friction coefficient uh, available will be able uh, of the flow available will be able to estimate what will be the flow at distance of delta x uh, for a pipe having diameter of d. Uh, we have defined the critical length as a maximum length where actually the uh, velocity become uh, the velocity equal to the uh, Speed, speed of sound and then in the adiabatic, uh, adiabatic flow we have also pressure temperature and density relationship and for the isothermal flow with friction we have derived the equation to calculate what will be the mass velocity as function of pressure different the area of the pipe the pipe diameter the length uh, temperature uh, the, the temperature and the and the uh, friction coefficient. Uh, the, 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 the T here is a constant because this is isothermal. Isothermal it implies that the temperature is con constant from the the inlet of the pipe through the length of the pipe also at the outlet of the pipe. Uh, the uh, friction coefficient uh, in this condition is a isothermal flow can be estimated using the y mod equation. Remember that T here uh, must be in inch. Let's go to the see the to see the example. Uh, uh, air flows adiabatically in a pipe centimeter diameter of pipe with a, a friction coefficient of 0.002. The air enters at mesh number mesh number of 2.5 and exit at mesh number of 1.5. Determine the length of the pipe required. What would be the critical length of the pipe? So uh, this is a basic illustration. You have the fluid enter at this mesh number 2.5 the, the diameter of the pipe of 5 cm of the and the friction coefficient is 0 0.002 so th for the first question you have uh, a condition that uh, mesh number is equal to 1.5 so what will be this length basically that's the question uh, another question is what will be the length uh, of the pipe at the critical uh, condition so here i make an illustration uh, it will be somewhere there so this is a straightforward uh, problem uh, you can easily insert all of the noun parameters so remember this is an air so an air has the k equal to 1.4 delta x is the one that we are trying to find out diameter is given friction is given uh, so we end up with only delta x that is not noun uh, we find out that the L equal to 1.85 that for the first question the second question is the critical length also the same 
you remember the for the critical length the definition is mesh number equal to one so we uh, also substituted all of the value here and we find out that the flow will reach a velocity of uh, mm, mm, sonic velocity mesh number equal to one at the length of 2.5 meter okay we have another example here a natural gas line has an inside diameter of 0.91 meter the compressor station are located 70 uh, 97 kilometer apart the pressure and the outlet of the first compressor is 5171 kilopascal and the pressure at the inlet of the second is 3447 kilopascal the gas might be considered as an ideal gas with a more molecular weight of 18 the temperature is 21 degrees c what is the mass flow rate so first we need to do the system anal uh, analysis this is what does it mean we have two compressor this is compressor one this is compressor two you are given so we have a diameter of 91 meter so this is equal to 35.83 inch this is the diameter of the pipe uh, and uh, so the pressure exiting from the first compressor is this value and the pressure before the next the second compressor is this value and then the two compressor separated by the distance of uh, 97 kilometer here that is basically the length of the pipe so the next thing to do when we know the, the system well is to go for some of the information physical, uh, physical properties data of natural gas we are given uh, the R always constant this is the universal value of a uh, gas coefficient uh, 8.314 jocomol kelvin uh, here the molecular mass is given as 18 18 gram per mole and the temperature is constant at 21 degrees celsius so what we do next is <coughs> we simply uh, key in all of the information in the equation here uh, the only thing left in this equation is the f value f value we can estimate using the the y mode equation remember the d here must be in inch so we get this value you key in all of the values given in the problem there we find out then we find out the mass velocity uh, equal to 200 and 11.35 kilogram per second here is another example uh, a natural gas line has an inside diameter of 36 inch the compressor station are located 60 miles apart the pressure at the outlet of the first and the pressure of the inlet of the second is 500 psi uh, the gas might be considered an ideal gas with a molecular weight of 18 and the temperature is at 70 degree Fahrenheit what is the mass flow rate so uh, the problem here is uh, identical to the one before so you are given the length you are given the pressure in the uh, pressure in the beginning you are given the pressure in the end uh, so uh, it's up to you if you're convenient with non SI, SI uh, unit system you can straight away apply uh, to the equation given so you key in appropriately with the appropriate confer conversion you will end up with a mass uh, flow rate of 214.8 kilogram per second uh, personally, I am not very convenient working with non-SI number, so if you are the same with me, you can uh, try the alternative here. So what you do is you convert all of the parameter given here to the SI unit, uh, and then, uh, re but, but remember the D here must be in inch, so the D here is uh, strict to the definition, it must be in inch, so you find out all of the information in uh, SI unit and you apply the number here uh, to find out uh, the same answer.